Pisces. Hope you are doing well, friends. Welcome to the weekend. We're checking in with your energy, sun, moon, and rising. Uh, to, to give you a bit of an update what's happening, if I can post over the weekend, I will. Um, but I might take a break. I'll see. It's hard because I'm like, I love to be connected with you guys and I get messages that come through. So I want to be able to share them with you. All right. So let's take a look at what's happening um, in regards to a current situation for you. Um, as you know, we don't read reversals, but I do pay attention when certain cards do come in reversal. Um, so with the storm warning energy, this is kind of like the past energy that you may have been experiencing. And I think a situation that you've been trying to navigate, something has been potentially a little off, a little... Um, Maybe there's just this knowingness that something hasn't been right or hasn't been working out as planned. Things potentially could even be rocky, okay? Um, and as I said, I'm getting this in terms of past energy. Current situation in regards to whatever is occurring around you, because I feel this is something around you, Pisces, um, not necessarily, you know, effects going on in you, but obviously it is impacting you because you're feeling what's going on and what's around you. Okay. But with this six of, um, sh the six chakra, which is like your third eye, this is Archangel Metatron. This is really focused on your intuition, on your foresight, um, and a real sense in the spiritual world. When you can connect to your third eye, it's, it's classified as quite profound, uh, experience when you're connecting into that energy, into that chakra. So I feel like maybe you're getting visions, maybe you're getting some insights or something to help support your, your path and journey. And maybe you don't know, even know how to decipher it, but, um, whatever is happening here, it's, it's one that's being asked to pay attention to. So maybe you'll get something come on in over, you know, the weekend, um, maybe, some clarification to something or some understanding about something. I really do feel Pisces right now. This is a prime time for you to really take um, charge and trust in your intuition. If you've ever, you know, been feeling that you can't see, you don't know, you know, you're not sure how you feel about something, things right now. And, you, and if you connect with other readers or really enjoy astrology and those that are connected in, they will also, you know, probably express to you the, the power of March for you, okay? It's really going to clear out what's no longer serving you, but it's opening up a huge gateway that's going to catapult you forward for a long-term purpose, a long-term reason, okay? And sure, people come in and out of your life, that's still going to be the same, but there's going to be things that are very um, necessary to what you're meant to be doing in this time, in this lifetime. And this is like a huge turning point for you, especially if you've been feeling a lot of stuff over these last few years. If you, you know, it's been quite a, a hard thing to navigate when you can see out over somewhere that things have been rocky, not understood, not sure how you feel about it, right? So now it's like time to connect in. And that's what Spirit's saying here. In terms of what the outlook is this is door to romance. And I'm sure this came up for you uh, this week as well. So for some of you, it's like your relationships are deepening or you're connecting in with a new love or new potential romance. Okay. So a part of this though, too, which is interesting, that's showing up is about being willing and open and able um, to open up your heart a little bit more to trust in it, because this is, you know, this is one that's in a cage that needs to be unlocked. So I feel like this is going to be the, the difference here with this person um, or this situation. It's like you can free yourself from whatever you are holding back, okay? It's like you can be more vulnerable. You can be more open because the storm warning, you've learned a lot, Pisces, over a period of time. So maybe it was in regard to a relationship where things were just like out of control maybe, and you were more caught up in the storm. And sometimes too, you were trying to tell the storm what you needed the storm to do to, so you could feel safe. But that storm wasn't listening because they had their own thing going on. So it's kind of like, a, I think, a shift in movement forward. Like the, the storm, the sun's coming out is, is effectively what I'm seeing and what I can, um, the way to express this. The sun's coming out here to, to open and awaken. Let's just have a look at... Um, <laughs> Yeah, what you may not see coming, we have got the 
the yin yang card of what you may not see coming. And then the challenge we've got showing up here is the um, angel of strength card, okay? And underneath that is a broken heart, but I just wanna show you that because I feel this is connected even though it's not something that I wanted to specifically address and keep going in and in. But for some of you, I do feel that whatever disruption has occurred, um, experiences over, over a period of time, Pisces, that's, I feel, healing, okay, if it hasn't already, but it's impacted you. But it's allowed you to learn if you've chosen to look at things that way on how you can best support yourself going forward. And maybe, you know, someone that you care about or someone that you're connecting with, how you can make that more supportive in dynamic. With the yin yang card, that's talking about a powerful force of connection here, whether this is with this specific person or whether this is within yourself. Like I said, the lessons that you've learned, you've learned how to harmonize, you've learned how to balance and use that to your power and strength that is unique to you. We've spoken about another reading. If you haven't, you know, if you don't check in daily, but I can understand. But one of the key things was about learning what makes you feel in full force, being in balance, being at peace. And what that is for you is going to be different for the next person, you know? Um, so just be, be mindful of that. With this angel of strength um, in terms of um, the challenge position, I think it's this is more so about the process. And sometimes I feel with strength, we require patience. We quite, you know, we require boundaries. We require, um, you know, just discernment in a way that's looking at things for what they are, but being okay to navigate life with how you're feeling, but making sure you're grounded as part of that. Because I feel with discernment, it provides something that allows you to be open but still respond in the way that you need and make decisions in alignment with that. Okay. Now we're going to dive in a little bit deeper um, to see and clarify all these energies and what is um, coming up here. So let's, let's take a peek in and see what else Pisces needs to know. All right, guys. So let's see what we need, what else we need to know about this storm warning energy. Just one more. Thank you, spirit. One more. Thank you. So we've got the Queen of Swords, the Six of Wands, with the Ten of Swords energy. So I do feel very much here, Pisces, which I already said, that this storm warning energy or specifically any disruption, this could be something internal, but I do feel this was because of something that was happening outside of you. Okay. Um, and if I didn't explain that, um, well earlier, that that's what I mean here, but it, a part of it is, is being able to see what's been happening and navigate the right path forward. But it may have been a little bit difficult. Um, but I feel in, in a few parts here that you've, whatever you've done, you've navigated this well, well, any challenges that have occurred where, it, where you may have not feel felt supported or successful in this endeavor. I feel like you've come out the other side of this challenge in a really strong position, one where you're recognized, one where you're supported, but you had to learn how to communicate in a way that wasn't, um, emotionally charged you had to learn how to communicate and and stay focused on the things and the facts that matter it seems here okay um, maybe a part of that too you had to step away you had to put some time apart but whatever this challenge was i think you've learned a lot here pisces and how you would do things differently next time but whatever um has has transpired while it may have been challenging um, and required a different strength and a different understanding about yourself what this has done is really put you in a very strong position to create a life that is more enjoyable where you actually feel good about who you are and what you're doing so um but in being in control of yourself in a much healthier way and i think people are seeing that people are recognizing that and for some of you, this could be why there may be some form of healing in terms of a relationship that there may have been trouble with. Or for some of you, this could be new love that you're attracting in because of this change, because of this evolution of whatever experience that you have been through. But there's no doubt here, this storm warning has passed. Um, and if it hasn't ended, it will be coming to an end very soon. Uh, you're, you're, you're gaining rewards and benefits, like some form of victory from this. Um, so... 
just take that for, for what it is. That's a great thing, Pisces, right? So let's have a look at what the six chakra and what we need to know here for you, Pisces. Interestingly, we've got a lot of page energy. So this is, oh, they're all pages. Holy cow. Uh, page of Wands, Page of Swords, and Page of Pentacles. Super interesting. Super interesting. So... A few different messages coming on through here. There's something I feel. Okay. I just got a lot of information coming on through. Let's recognize here that there's no page of emotions. Okay. But there's page or page of cups, if you wish to call it that. But what you do have is page of wands, the page of swords and the page of pentacles. When we connect these in together, this is very around your purpose and your career and how to communicate to create what it is that you want. There is some significant lessons here is what I'm gathering Pisces for some of you. Obviously, this is a general read. It's not going to relate for, for everyone. But if this does, I always appreciate you being here and um, liking and subscribing to the channel. It is free. It doesn't cost you anything other than a little bit of energy to send some love. But um, getting back here is just... There's something here I feel for some of you learning from past, learning from a younger version of yourself, but you wouldn't have been able to truly learn or identify these lessons if what happened over with this storm warning didn't occur. You're allowed, this has allowed you to see things from a different perspective, a different angle. And I think you have a new, new foresight, a new vision of life and how you want to do things differently. So it's kind of like reteaching yourself, I feel in some regard here, Pisces. Um, that's part of that. And maybe what you're doing now, like now you've got all these amazing potential opportunities coming in, whatever communications opportunities, um, which I've already said, um, what's the other word they're trying to tell me here? Just give me a sec pathways. It seems like this is very much cor cor correlated to what ignites you, what gets you excited. Okay. So when you're having those conversations, what things excites you as part of those conversations, what makes you feel like you want to be around that energy because it infuses your energy as well. This is also too about making decisions now that are, are true and clear to you. So you're going to know very quickly when someone's communicating what's real and what's not, because you've got this insight. Now you've learned so much here, but you also know too, how to ask the right questions to get the answers that you need to, to, help you propel forward or to re you know go and shift to a new path and direction because for you right now the big part of of embodying this and being aware of this is also to create the the life and the stability that you succeed maybe you know that you that you see that you want to succeed in <laughs> For some of you too, you may have kids and children and a big part of it um, and a big part of your motivation and drive is around these children. Maybe too, they're all different. Maybe as well that they give you different, um, different pieces of advice to support you because they know your brilliance and, and what you bring, okay, and who you are. So, and then it could be just in terms of people you'll, you'll be leading on your path and journey here. I'm just going to get one more to clarify what anything else we need to know about these page energies. Cause I find it really fascinating that you have three pages with this Metatron. Yeah. So I feel this is when, when you can't see, when you can't make a decision, this is a really important time to connect with, within yourself. I do feel that these are versions of you, Pisces. I really do. For, for a lot of you, that's what I feel. For some of you, it's going to be people around you that are helping you navigate. But a part of this, for this to be the main theme, the sixth chakra and Metatron, I mean, that's like uh, connected to all things. Okay. So there's something here that you to make sure that you're paying attention to, to support this for yourself. Okay. All right. Let's have a look at the door to romance in terms of this outcome. What do we need to know for this door to romance? We've got the moon energy. We've got the justice energy. Yeah, I'm just, oopsies. And let's just get one more. Thank you. Nine of cups. I like it. I'm just going to put these here. So.
So I feel that there's something that potentially you may not see yet, or maybe you didn't see this coming. If there was some form of conflict or, or true disruption in terms of a relationship, maybe you just didn't think this was something that was going to heal. Maybe you thought that was over, it's done, and there's no potential reconciliation. Um, but I feel for some of you, that's, that's potentially here, that things will balance out, that you guys will get to the truth of whatever was really going on to support your path and journey. Okay. Because there seems to be here, whatever's going to show up, whatever's going to be re revealed. It's like, there's this uh, element here of something working out and something coming back around <clears throat> that is true to you. That is true to what makes you feel good, feel balanced and supported. Um, and I'm also getting like a little bit of, um, not shyness, but some regard of like being cautious. That's the better word being cautious because what you have been through, and that could be why this is like the heart is kind of locked up here because you have been through a lot Pisces and who you let in, who you trust, who you share, you know, things with it's, it's a big deal, right? It's not something that I think you can connect easily with people, but to really allow people in, to really allow people the depths of you, cause you are very deep feeling um, and, and emotionally, uh, you know, the way you connect with people is, is very rare. You and Cancerians very rare in your depths with connection. Okay. And there just seems to be here that whoever that you're connecting with or reconnecting with is going to get, bring a lot of satisfaction. Okay. A lot of satisfaction, but maybe you don't see this yet. Maybe this is something that needs to slowly be revealed and uncover, um, where you feel safe, where you feel like this is right. Okay. So it may be a little slow moving, but that's kind of like what is showing up here in terms of this scenario. So let's have a look at what you don't see with this yin yang energy. Wow. We've got the four of wands. That's really cool. What else do I need to know? What else do we need to know here with this four of wands? We've got the two of pentacles and the seven of wands. So Pisces, when we connect into the, these two energies, especially with this yin yang, I mean, this is the portal. I love the four of wands. It's a very beautiful energy because it's a place where you're meant to be. Um, the four of wands is a place that you're meant to be a place that, that is like a person or an event or a destination that you're going to explore or embark on even an adventure of some kind. It's one that's meant to be while life, you know, we can say is meant to be, you know, all the things that happen, everything is about free will, right? At the end of the day, but this is like something on purpose that's, that's meant to unite people together, the right people for a specific reason that has a, a quite a large impact. Okay. Or effect on something in your life or their life. And that's what I feel this yin yang is, is like, you're talking about balance and balance here. Okay. And balance. So there's something here quite, quite explicit around something being balanced out, something uniting, something that I'm just getting very powerful energy between these two. Um, uh, I don't know if it's an experience, a person, whatever it is, but there's something between two people or two forces that is very powerful here. This could be just you within you, but I do feel there's another energy around you that is, you know, potentially coming back into balance, what has been a little rocky, but I feel like this is meant on purpose, like something that you guys had to learn. If it's two people, um, and a, like a significant other, a lover, someone that you're meeting Pisces, um, or reconnecting to, this seems to be like a very soulful spiritual connection that, that you guys will grow together and deepen together. Um, and I, I just feel like it's very, Mm, like, ah, oh, just, it's really nice. It's a really nice feeling. Um, it's just, yeah, it feels safe and supportive and warm. You know, when you can just like snuggle up into someone and it just feels so good. That's the kind of energy that I'm, I'm getting here. Um, the seven of wands, you know, when we clarify this with the seven of wands, this is also too, I think around your, 
courage and belief towards something here. And I think this is a strong piece of the puzzle for you with this yin yang energy. For something to come together and to work together, you had to have courage and belief in within you to make something happen, whether it was part of your healing journey, whether it was part of your career, whether it was part of a relationship, there was something that you were very strong and uh, strong willed about. Maybe, you know, I don't think in an unhealthy way. I just think in a way that you, you know, sometimes that you just believe you're in a certain place that you just have this trust and knowing, and then you've got people giving you like, maybe you feel that you're ready to be in a relationship. People are like, well, you need more time to, you know, buy yourself and figure yourself out. And it's like, you're getting people putting limitations on you when you know how you feel about something. Maybe, you know, you want to change in career. Maybe you're ready to move home. And it's like people are restricting you in how you're meant to think. And it's like, no, I know what it is that I, I know when I meet someone or I connect with a certain situation, I know how something makes me feel. And I'm going to trust in that and I'm going to explore it. So I feel like you're, you've maintained this energy throughout and even too, as part of your healing journey, you knew what you needed to do for you, even though some days were hard, but there was just this something about you that you just held a really strong place and presence here for yourself. Now let's just have a look at um, what else you need to know about this challenge energy and how you can best support yourself in regards to this situation. What do we need to know for Pisces regarding the challenge position to best support themselves going forward? Thank you. Okay, we've got the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. Beautiful Pisces. It couldn't say it any other way. Any burdens, anything that you've been working hard for, that you've been diligent about, that you've been just holding power, like I said, in strength. I, I'm feeling like this is the end part of this seven of wands energy. Okay. This is the ending. You don't have to, you've, you've, you've proved to yourself who you are, what you need to be, what it is that you want, desire, both to your, to you and to the universe. Okay. And it's bringing you this 10 of cups energy. It's required as special strength, a special courage. And you probably had to dig pretty damn deep, you know, to get there because that's just the journey of Pisces, right? We're all signs. We've been, we've been through it all. It's like, we get it. We know it, especially when we look at all Zodiac signs, it's kind of like embedded in us. And that's the, the blessing that comes with Pisces and a beautiful one. So I'm going to leave that with you, dear Pisces. I look forward to connecting with you. Have a fab weekend. Happy birthday to those that are celebrating. And I appreciate you and connect with you soon. Bye now.